actually really like this DC logo. <laughs> I much prefer it to their new one now. I think it only showed like two things. Yeah. Like a woman was it a woman's eye? Yeah. A woman's eye and then the Joker's face. They still do this Warner Bros. animation. Yeah. I logo, know. right? Yeah. This so far this reminds me of the uh, the just the Suicide Squad animated movie. Did you ever see it? Um. Is that Tim the one? Daly or Dolly. Is this the one with the uh, where they go into the asylum? Yes. Didn't you actually know it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Did you like it? Nathan Fillion. Uh yeah, it was alright. I think for these Justice League movies, Nathan Fillion is the voiceover guy for um, Green Lantern. Yeah. Like... Michael Rosenbaum. He sounds familiar. Not a clue. I think I remember seeing the trailer for this movie and... Uh, okay, yeah, there's the pictures. I think I remember seeing the trailer for this and the trailer putting it off like this very serious, like, dire situation. Yeah. Like, the Justice League members basically are going to die in this movie. Yeah. And then who's gonna come and save them? Cyborg. Know that? No, I don't, I don't know. I don't think I ever saw a trailer for this. And I honestly forgot Cyborg was in this movie. I think this was, I think this was close to the time when they were gonna do their reboot. Or, 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 or it happened around this time. Mm-hmm. But do you know about the reboot? The New Fifty Two. Ever- yeah, New Fifty Two. Yeah. Okay. Pissed off at DC for that. Right. And then they did another reboot. Hey, ten. You know how I remember ten? Because in Batman Beyond, this group is still around, but I think uh-huh. by new people. The first issue of Rebirth. Mm-hmm. It, many comic readers consider already one of the best comic books ever because. Because of the story it was telling, mm-hmm. and 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 how it and how it rebooted uh, the DC Comics again, how uh-huh. they how they had to change how they changed everything, how they changed everything back, and how they added some new subtle changes to the characters. Crap! It's the Justice League. <laughs> okay, the way she said it. Crap! It's the Justice League, right? Like a mild inconvenience. Yeah. Like, did you ever read that comic? It was a quarter hour? Or did yeah, you just, I did. did. Pictures? I, I, no, I read it. I read it up to... The last thing I remember is they had just introduced uh, Mr. Freeze into the plot line. Okay, and, and I never read that before. I think I but read... But after... Oh. I, I stopped reading because after that, you kind of had to read when, uh, when when Joker came back. And then that kind of got involved with Suicide Squad and I hate how they connect with the comics. It was the one where Joker had, like, the face thing? Yeah, yeah. I never read it, but I hear I never, it's really I, good. Yeah, I, I read it, but it had to deal with that. Oh, you Joker, read it? No, no, I never oh, read okay. it. But Joker got involved into the following later on in the story. Mm-hmm. But I hate it because they had to connect They had to connect it with Suicide Squad. Then I read Suicide Squad, the first issue, where they talk about, you know... That Joker. That Joker. And, but then the second issue of the, of the Suicide Squad, it brought in, like... Some really stupid elements. I'm like, oh, I, I just stopped reading because I was like, I'm pretty sure I have to read other another super short comics to get the Batman story, and I don't want to do that, so I just stopped reading it entirely. Okay, you were hoping that it was just gonna keep to one. Yeah. They're like, here, here's this story about Joker involving Batman. Yeah. And just keep it like this. I thought, hard, but they didn't. So I was like, oh, fuck this. Yeah, was, that's unfortunate. <laughs> And I think it's kind of funny that because I, I think that guy who was cyborg for the Titans and Injustice, I mean for the Teen Titans and Injustice, he, he should be the guy just voicing every, every animated cyborg thing because like his name works perfectly. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't cost that much. I believe tradition calls for hiding these up one's sleeves. Was that sarcasm, Alfred? Mild teasing at best. I'm being uncharacteristically gentle with They always, they always, I think for every interpretation of Batman, they got the. They got the Alfred and Bruce Wayne thing, like down down the path, uh-huh. no? Yeah. Because like, can you th- even in Batman and Robin, the whole story for that was Batman trying to get the cure for Alfred so he could live. Yeah. And then there's some good moments there. You can eat while you brood, and I'll put in your stitches myself. It will be delightful, I'm sure. All right. So that makes me happy knowing that the relationship has always been like a a stable for comics. Yeah. Like no one can no one can fuck that up. But Azar's someone can. But Zack Snyder didn't even fuck that up. Did he didn't even fuck it up in um No. And Bam the Superman. Because they're like we have very good discussions between Ben Affleck and um 
what's what's the guy who plays Alfred? Jeremy Irons. Jeremy Irons. You, you remember like the conversations, right? Yeah. Especially from the trailer, and that's when Ben Affleck cared about being Batman. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Ben, you suck. Ben's gonna get out. It's still kind of pitiful that he, Bane in his normal state, mm -hmm. he can take on a croc an alligator or a crocodile, whatever <laughs> that was, right? Yeah. Okay, I was gonna say, is it just me really sparkling? Okay, you killed him. <laughs> He's dead too. Jump. They're only human beings. Come <laughs> on, look at that. Yeah, he, they're deaf. They got broken something. Here. Especially the guy that got punched. Yeah. What's in the box? What's in the box? Dead grandma. What kind of sick... Relax. I got a little ahead of myself. You can hardly blame me trying to keep up with the likes of you. You got a point there. She's still alive. That's a hell of a box, though. Don't move. It has his own bomb you in You really want to hear all this first. I call this my hostage box. <laughs> Clever. I wonder how long it took him to <laughs> write that up. The box will activate and instantly kill the old woman. Unless you use your super speed to get her out. It's a trap. Most probably, but you can't take that chance. Or pass up the challenge. Are you fast enough, Flash? Oh, that's, that's Flash's MO. Yeah. Are you fast enough? <laughs> Careful. It's bulky through your wrist. What? It's a bomb with a three mile blast radius. If you try to remove the bomb, it explodes. If you do nothing in 60 seconds, it explodes. Before you heroically leave the train to protect the passengers, there's one last thing. Once you start running, if you decelerate, it explodes. You've got 12 seconds to decide what to do. I don't much care. What it sounds exactly like something Batman would say if he was a supervillain, <laughs> right? Right, yeah. <laughs> You don't understand. I've been a newspaper man for 40 years. I started as a copy boy when I was 16. I always thought I'd be doing this kind of stuff until we need the day in the movies, I died. Right? <laughs> I guess I got but, that part right. So, character stuff like this for, other jobs. for just people. Newspapers for just are people. Dying. Situations like this I for the heroes to deal with. Fighting mm -hmm. for the little guy fighting. But then again, how many people? How many viewers do you think are gonna be like, ah, oh, like? How many viewers are gonna think they're forcing this type of thing down our throats? Mm -hmm. Right? When they don't seem yeah. fashionable. Which is just it's a never ending normal battle, things. But we can't quit. I'm not the man you think I am. I'm too weak to fight anymore. You're stronger than you know, Mr. Ackerson. <sighs> yeah. Okay, but yeah, now you know Vandal Savage's origin. What do you think about that? It's basically what you said. He's very shot good without having to go to the to the Lazarus pit. I agree, Shaq go better. Was it, was it was Vandal Savage was Vandal Savage's story just lame or what? A bit, yeah. I got radiation. Of course you fucking did. They all do. <laughs> and it's really stupid too. Oh, I'm gonna destroy half the world because I want to rule it. Why can't you do that now? My my thinking being that it'll be too too difficult to conquer all the entire population at that point of the movie, mm -hmm. and then um and then tr trying trying to rule. Trying to rule a small amount of people is, is that and, and if you can destroy half the world, that means destroying half of the fucking environment. You think everyone's gonna want to live in dirt? Fuck that. We got trees now. I mean, granted, yeah, environmental, mm -hmm. but still, it's really, really, really dumb. And if you really want to take over a world that's literally dirt, nobody does. You want fucking grass and shit, mm -hmm. unless you're in Mad Max, and that kind of makes sense. But no, you know, people, we like grass. We like green. He's a fucking idiot. Also, if he destroys, if he literally destroys half the planet, the radiated the fucking water. You're gonna have mutated motherfucking munted people. You see, the guy's an idiot. No, yeah, I don't like him. Neutralize, not kill. Whoever implemented my plans altered them. It's still a completely unacceptable breach of our trust. <laughs> look at fucking Wonder Woman. Yeah. I, I, I always hated how she always came across. It's like, oh, you. I was like, look, look what you did. My will, my will will prevent the solar flare. Is that how it works, really? I don't know. That makes Damn. sense. But I'm curious, like, can can a Green Lantern think I want to make this unbreakable shield? Uh -huh. let, let's, let's just say like a knight's shield. 
and and will it say you will not break at all like can can he just think that and then that happens or or is it just unbreakable depending on his actual mm. will right right cuz like cuz like if that's the case then then he could mentally just think of a brick wall uh-huh. and 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 he, and he could have the strongest will ever and then nothing will break that brick wall because his will will not pre- will not will prevent anything from breaking it right yeah like i wonder how that works well i mean wouldn't uh well, he, he was like, physically tired though right cuz no yeah he will be physically tired yeah but I, i'm i'm just i'm just saying if that's how it works no i have no idea but that's sort of you know or wait well, yeah or or, or does con- or does concentration put up a you, or is a or does concentration ha- have a huge factor into it mm-hmm. um a, as much as as much as willpower or is or is it just completely different things also right Kevin Conroy, top build. <laughs> He beat Nathan Fillion. <laughs> <laughs>